Hey everybody, how are you? Uh, it's a beautiful day. I just got through working out. Uh, this morning when I woke up, I, uh, of course, I scrolled. It's a bad habit, but I scrolled the internet a little bit. I was on Twitter and I saw something about uh, Pfizer submitting for to the FDA, their application to the FDA for approval. And there was a lot of, seemingly, a lot of panic on argumentative panic on uh, on Twitter over this and you know it's a process and obviously it doesn't really matter um, if you're not going to get it you're not going to get it you know, what the hell right I don't give a, I don't give a damn what they're doing I do think that they're going to pull um, this sounds like a prediction and I could be totally wrong but I think they're going to pull the plug on this whole thing pretty soon because uh, a very very mainstream Talking Head did a thing on VAERS VAERS last night and or I think it was the night before which tells me that we know all that media is, is uh, it's controlled so if it makes it to that level it's planned and so I think that they're kind of chumming the waters to get I think they got who they wanted to get with this thing I don't think they, they know they can't go very much further without uh without endangering their purchase, you know what I mean, so to speak. Um, so I think that it's, don't hold me to this, but I think it's going to be coming to an end soon. Nevertheless, uh, they they sent in the, um, the application, and... I saw, it bothered me at first because I saw some people online uh, arguing back and forth and someone accused the company of being criminal and someone said that they are a conspiracy theorist, they're stupid. And I went and got multiple uh, examples of, of the documented examples of this criminality. But then I thought, why, why am I going to argue? I'm not arguing with this. These people are gone. They're running up to a known criminal with their arm extended and playing and saying, please stick, stick what you have in me. I don't care what it is. That's a slave. That's a done entity. Dead. No, there's no arguing with that. It's, it's completely subsumed. If you've ever dealt with possession, uh, maybe someday I will tell a story about this. But if you've ever had the displeasure of being around somebody known to be possessed, or if you've ever dealt with that in any way, you know that the equipoise of forces within that person are so disrupted. The cellular matrix, the structure, to make room. Now, the cellular structure doesn't, it's a physical thing uh, in, this, in this realm, in our range of vision. But there is a liminal portion of it that kind of melds into the etheric and in order to make room for something etheric that also has its own liminal as it kind of bridges that a little bit there has to be a disruption of the balance of forces within that person and it's a highly destructive thing and even when the force is removed there's damage there's a it's like a, one of those serrated blades when they go in it's hellacious to take out it does more damage on the way out now some people can heal from that i think the body is always tending toward healing and can always do that whether or not it, it's so much so many of our paradigms however don't fully i mean whether they're spiritual paradigms uh church uh medical psychological physical they only deal with a very limited portion of their paradigm. They don't encompass everything. Very few encompass everything. So even even those who are aware of this particular phenomenon, when they extract something, they don't know how to deal with the damage. They're probably not probably not even aware that the damage is there. So these people are gone. They are toast. It doesn't make any sense to argue with them. And in a justice frame of mind, what they are doing willingly to themselves, these companies, the government, 
the, the Pfizer's, the AstraZeneca's, they have an obligation to do what they're doing. You have to, it's, it's, it's like hating the, uh, the weed whacker. It's hating the, the blade, the, the shear. It's a useful tool to some degree. And we've, we've descended to this point. So I had to check myself. I'm not going to argue with these people. I had to check myself. I had to back off. It's a, it's a useless activity. Put the phone down. Look into the smiling eyes of your spouse. Enjoy a good breakfast and a good cup of coffee. With your whole heart and spirit. Have a good workout. Do your work, whatever that may be. Adjust yourself. Adjust your life to avoid this. Float above it. Because ultimately, it can be of little concern.